Winter astros feeding, folks. Uh, recent studies show minimal impact on future reproductive performance. Full feed, thin cells only. Um, that's pretty much the, the consensus there. Uh, let's see, I know Leopoldo Almeida, he's in the audience, he's done three studies, I, I was a co-author with him, several hundred cells each study, uh, and then uh, I know Rafael there from Brazil as well, he did a large study with a thousand cells, and uh, let me go back here, and uh, no, no, not a lot of responses there, right, Jamil? Yeah, this is, for me, is the most polemical one because when we discuss this topic, we are trying to, to make some inference in five days. So what we should do in five days of wind to estrus interval, and there's a lot of variation uh, of uh, during this, throughout these five days, one sow can eat in the first day, one amount uh, in the other day, five kilograms in the third day, two kilograms. And I was talking to Dr. Almeida, uh, one of the guys that studied this topic. It's pretty interesting. Because uh, what the literature shows us is that we haven't seen any uh, big impact in, in performance of the cell. And also, you, you, you talk about, you, uh, you said about this uh, Rafael Gianluppi's trial, uh, a pretty recent one with more than 1,000 cells. Uh, he used a two by two factoria with, with a lactation diet and, and gestation diet and two amounts. And uh, he hasn't seen any effect in the reproductive performance. Very good. Something I forgot to say, uh, everyone, two things actually, Jamil, my, my bad, you, you didn't get to introduce yourself and, and myself, myself as well. Go, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Thank you, Marcio. Thank you for the invitation and congratulations for your last project, the best one, Benjamin Project one. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm from the south of Brazil. I, I, I got my DVM in the same day, in the same place as Marcio. And I worked for four years uh, uh, in a company here in Brazil, the pig industry, with 350,000 cells. Then I got my master's and my PhD in, in, in Brazil, in the south of Brazil, with Dr. Bortoloso. And in the PhD, uh, I had the opportunity to stay with, in the Kansas State University uh, for eight months, studying uh, with Dr. Tokash and a lot of good folks there. And I learned a lot about and was a, a pretty nice experience and just uh, got my, graduated my PhD. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Thanks, Emil. And, and uh, I think I know most of, of you. My name is Marcio Gonçalves uh, and I work on the Swine It podcast and other projects. Um, uh, something, the second point that I forgot to mention is that this webinar is not to be a formal scientific presentation. We do not want to bore you. Uh, and, and anyone that wants research, uh, we're going to have the email at the end. You just send the email and we're going to send any papers on demand. Okay. Uh, 